today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Spin Master Toys Air Hogs RC Elite Helix X4 Stunt. This is a stunt quad copter. As you can see, it's got four rotor blades on there. You can see it even in the packaging there in the open window. Performs stunts. Looks like three different stunts. Rotate and spin. It says on the side though, recommended for 12 years and older. Uh, you can do it inside. It works on 2.4 gigahertz. USB powered does different tricks. One set, again coming to us from the good folks at Spin Master. Oh, here we go, on the side. This would actually clarify it a little bit more. It is indoor, it's got directional control, active gyro frequency, USB charger, performs three stunts. One set contains the Helix X4 stunt, one USB charger, one controller, and one user instruction guide. To check out also more from the good folks over at Spin Masters, you can check out their Air Hogs selection of toys, going to airhogs.com. And then on the back, use gyro stabilizer, crash resistant construction, stunt buttons. Looks like quite a intense, quite a multi-directional uh, controller there. That's going to be interesting to play around with. Novice and expert settings. I would probably set that to novice immediately. Charging cable, status LED. Yeah, definitely excited giving this a try. Uh, what I am going to do is take a break. I'm going to get this opened up and when we come back we are going to get a better look at the Air Hogs RC Elite Helix X4 Stunt Quad Copter. Don't go anywhere. There's definitely more heading your way. Included with the Helix X4 Stunt, uh, what you get yourself is an instruction guide showing you how to operate, charge, and how to use the X4 Stunt. Um, it also shows you how to install the batteries. It does require batteries, which unfortunately did not come with it. Um, it does actually take a whopping eight batteries, which at least luckily is AA batteries and not so much... If this was around in the 80s, you'd probably be expecting to use C batteries or D batteries, and uh, those got uh, expensive. At least these are double A batteries. Um, we'll get into the remote in a second. The other accessory, the other thing that it does come with is a charging cable. The X4 Stunt does allow you to charge it two ways, one of which being what you see right now is a direct USB connector. Um, what you'll do is take the X4 Stunt, and you can just plug this in at the top, and then this will plug into your PC. You can charge it, give it juice that way. Or what you can also do, put that aside, the remote also does come with, that is extended right now, but it also comes with an extender with an actual connector cable too. And then you're gonna be charging it from the battery supply rather than the USB. It's entirely up to you. The fact that it takes eight AA batteries, you might even be inclined to charge it via your PC and then just use the battery power when you're ready to use it. Um, to charge it though, what you're going to want to do is make sure the X4 stunt is turned currently to off. Right now it's on. Easy way to tell is you can probably see it's got lights on the front. Or obviously to set it to O would be turning it off. So have it off completely. Take your charging cable and make sure your remote is also designated for off. Uh, so you have your off, you have your uh, you have your novice and then you have your pro settings, your control settings. So make sure you have it to off. Take your cord, take your cord and plug it into the top as Spot had already indicated. And you're gonna to wanna to charge it, or actually, and what you're also gonna to wanna to do is turn it back on to either of those previously mentioned switches. You'll see a little red light on indicating that it is currently charging. You'll wanna have it charged for at least a half hour to make sure it has juice when you're ready to use it. And when you're finished, you just unplug it. You're gonna ravel this back up, wind it back up there, back into its cradle station. And then what you're gonna do is make sure it is on. 
So I'm going to turn this back on, put it down here, and then you're going to turn this to either beginners, which Spot is currently sitting at because Spot has yet to really perfect using this. I've had a lot of fun playing with it, but I haven't had a chance to really perfect it just yet. Novice would obviously be for the people that are more used to using these and probably have gotten really, really good at them. Uh, before though, before we actually show you the, the it in function, I'll show you the, quickly the controller, and for that reason I'll just turn it off for a second. Um, you have your up, you have your up, down directions, uh, steering left and right, and then you also have your directional uh, left and right as well on this side. Um, down here, you've got your various settings, your various stunt settings, stunt setting one, two, three. I usually just have it at one. And there's actually also a stunt function button as well. So in midair, you can press this and have it do different stunts as well. Um, it's a substantial controller, but all things considered, it's fairly easy to, to handle. I don't feel as if I'm carrying a big, bulky controller. Um, it has volume, though, to it, but holding it is a lot easier than what I was expecting. Um, as for the X4 Stunt, luckily it is of a, a softer material. It's got a little more of a softer material, so if it hits anything, at least it's not going to cause a lot of damage, which is good, which is definitely a good thing. It's got four propeller blades on either corners there. Obviously your plug-in state, your charging station plug port, and then your off and on switch. There's the underside of it, but it is relatively light, and obviously it helps and benefits it for being light for it moving in the air. And again, if it's moving, if you have it indoors, if it's hitting anything, luckily with the stoppers in the front and the fact that it is this softer, um, it's almost like a, a styrofoam material, a little denser than styrofoam, but at least when it hits anything, it's not going to do, do any serious damage. Also, if you accidentally hit anybody with it, at least it's not going to cause as much damage as if it was a, a plastic or, or a metal piece. Some nice detailing on it. It's kind of got a, a grayish black uh, coloring to the, the, the main body. And we've got some red striping going on there on the sides, little sides there as well. Nice red on the propellers. And then even on the back is indicating, right down there, indicating air hogs. So some really nice design of it. It kind of, for me, reminds me of the helicarrier from Avengers. Just kind of that nice, neat design. Now I'm hoping, again, Spot has not had much opportunity to really play around with this to the point that I've perfected it, but I'm hoping that at least you'll be able to get a good gist of it while we're using it in this, the confines of this backdrop. So again, I'm gonna just turn it on. And again, you'll know it's on by the fact that it'll have, you see that little light that's on the front there? You'll turn that on, and then again, you'll turn this to, in this case for me, basic or novice. Um, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna start giving it a little juice on the side and just to get itself going, let's hopefully get gets it going and it doesn't blow all over the place on me here. Oh, there we go. I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm gonna hold it just for a second just so you guys can get a, an idea of, of uh, those propellers in action. And you can see, first of all, it puts out a lot of air Um, but to put it down, let's see if we can actually do this on camera. I'm going to just give it a little bit of juice. Just put it down for, for a second. Obviously recommended, obviously recommended would be doing this in a much more open space. Spot unfortunately does not have the luxury of an open space, but still. Just give that another try. Try to keep it as, as in camera as I possibly can. Once again, I'm just gonna bring that joystick ever so slightly up, give it some power, and then from there I can steer it back and forth. <laughs> it's blowing everything in my desk area here. Let's try it one more time. There 
we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> it is, as you can see, very fun. But getting it to work in a small environment, as Spot is currently trying to do, not the easiest at all. Um, this is the kind of thing that's, you know, I'm not doing a great job of showing you in a small environment, but in a much larger scope and much larger room, believe you me, you can have a lot of fun. And that's what Spot's been doing for the last 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. I've been playing around with this and I've been having quite a bit of fun. Probably not at the sense of my cats. My cats probably have not been enjoying how much noise and movement I've been doing lately, but I've had quite a blast playing with this. Um, I would imagine you could probably play this outside too, but being that it is as light as it is, I would say don't do it in incredibly windy conditions. I think best advice, probably keep it in a in an indoor environment. Just be cautious you're not doing it around cats or dogs, or certainly your siblings. Um, but it is definitely fun, quite, quite fun. Uh, it is available. It is available at most toy stores, probably around the remote control section. But I would suggest, if you wanted to give something a try, and you're kind of into the remote control helicopters, let's get it to actually come over here. Come over here for a second. Bring it back over here for a second. If, uh, if you're definitely into the remote control helicopters, this is definitely where it's at. You probably will do a much better job of, of using it as Spot has is currently doing but uh, I admit uh, that's why I'm on novice I get a little more practice in there but uh, I would definitely say this is really a fun fun toy um, today's toy spot we're having a look at something a little bit different it's a little bit different from what you normally find on this channel today we're having a look at the air hogs x4 uh, we're having a look today at the let me just make sure. The Air Hogs RC Elite Helix X4 Stunt. It's quite a long name, but definitely a very fun toy to play with. Certainly stick around, though. Spot's got more reviews lined up for you guys. Something as cool as this? Probably unlikely, but certainly stay tuned, guys. Many more spots to come. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think Spot's going to go keep playing with this uh, in a much larger room. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.